Now in Cyprus, the Justice Minister has resigned over how police handled the case of what's thought to be the island's first serial killer. 35-year-old Greek Cypriot man is in custody. He's admitted to killing seven female migrants. The focus of the search for the bodies is centred around a toxic lake, a red lake, in the village of Mitsero. Let's just show you the moment that the remains of one of the bodies was recovered from the lake. The bodies of three victims had been put into suitcases and thrown into the murky water. This case has really shocked Cyprus. But it's also led to a lot of anger. Protesters have accused police of failing to properly investigate the disappearance of the victims in the three years since they went missing because they were migrants. Here's the Justice Minister, Jonas Nicolaou, announcing his resignation. I brief the President of my decision to resign my duties and thank him for the trust he showed me throughout my services. I am resigning only out of political responsibility, as I share no other responsibility of the police handling of missing person reports, and neither did police inform me of such reports. Here's the BBC's Rosie Blunt, who has been covering the story. There's another protest organised for tomorrow. There was one last week. They say that the Cyprus authorities have really failed these women who have been left very vulnerable and unprotected. Tell us about this appalling series of crimes and how they came to light. Well, over the past few weeks, several bodies had been uncovered. The first one was found in an abandoned mine by a German tourist who was taking photographs. So it wasn't even the police who uncovered the bodies. Uh, this has led to a further investigation, which has uncovered several more bodies. Um, one was found in a well, and several were found in suitcases dumped in the Red Lake in Cyprus. Um, so it's really been a horrific uncovering. And there was even a child as one of the victims. And the allegation being that because these were migrant women and a child, uh, this wasn't treated with utmost importance. Yeah, it's actually believed to be two children, the daughters of two of the victims. And what people are saying is that these, these women weren't taken seriously. They say their, dis their disappearances were reported several years ago, um, that neighbours and friends reported them missing. And because they were migrants, the police just um, said that they'd gone back to their original countries and that they couldn't investigate them further. That's what's being alleged. What's happening with the investigation now? What, what are police doing? Yeah, so the, um, the man who's confessed to seven killings um, is um, in police custody. Not all the bodies have uh, been recovered yet, so the investigation is, is ongoing, looking for more bodies. But I think what the real question is, is how this has been allowed to happen um, in a system that leaves women so unprotected. These migrant workers um, have told me awful stories of working conditions that completely flout EU working directive, you know, 14 hour week, uh, 14 hour days, um, not having a day off in, in a week. Some have said they, they have a single day off in one month. They're shared between three families and some have reported sexual harassment as well. So this is the tip of, of the iceberg of a massive um, issue in Cyprus. Rosie Blunt.